Welcome back to the National Hurricane Center. This is Ken Graham. We are live right here in our operations area in Miami, Florida. The time is 722 Central Time. So let's get the latest information on Tropical Storm Nicholas. Um, we've got Stacy looking at the, the latest, putting out the forecast for Nicholas. We've got Dan over here as well looking at um, all other areas that we have during the peak of the hurricane season. But let's get into the vitals of, of Nicholas. Still, we have winds about 60 miles an hour. That really is concentrated right around this core and also in some of these rain bands close to the center. Those tropical storm force winds standing just over 100 miles or so away from that center. So a few areas to look at here. You have the center of the storm, but you have these rain bands. You get gusty winds, heavy rain. Look at these these areas of heavier rainfall way out in Louisiana from southeast Louisiana, the Mississippi coast, getting some of that rainfall. Um, also Lafayette stretching northward through Alexandria, some of this, this heavier rainfall. Right now the location, we're about 15 miles south southwest of Houston, Texas is the current location. So let's start looking at uh, the latest forecast. This is the update that we just put out just a little bit ago. There you can see the extent of those tropical storm force winds um, around the center. So still some gusty winds, still a situation that with that heavy rainfall and those gusty winds, you can still have some trees down and some power outages associated with this system. So looking at that forecast, here's the, the most specific thing that we really need to look at. So here we are, uh, 7 a.m. Central Time uh, this morning, slowly moving, still moving towards that, the northeast. But then when we get really close to the Louisiana border, it's going to slow down. So even if the winds start to decrease, that's not going to change the impacts. You're still going to get that, that heavy rainfall, the life-threatening rainfall that we forecast associated with this system. So very slowly moving across portions of, of southwest Louisiana. So timing-wise, early Wednesday morning approaching Louisiana, and, and look with time. Way over here, this is early Thursday morning. So in a day's time, that's it just not really moving that far, and that's gonna compound a lot of the issues associated with, with the rainfall. Really a life-threatening situation associated with this rainfall. Just efficient tropical moisture, we saw that on the radar, and, and that right there is gonna cause some flooding. Just too much rain in too short of a time. This area here, six to 10 inches of rain these areas in orange. So that's, you start looking at, at Lake Charles, you start looking at Lafayette, New Orleans Metro, the North Shore of Lake Pontchartrain, and even portions of, of the Mississippi coast you can see some of this very heavy rain. Some areas could even get 15 to 20 inches of rain before it's all said and done. So we're looking at that even if you're further north. Look at this yellow area here, four to six inches, even some pockets up to 10 inches in portions of central Louisiana, even stretching into portions of Mississippi and all the way over here on the Alabama coast as well into the Florida Panhandle. Some areas could get four to six inches of rain by the time it's all said and done. So that's a pretty significant amount of rain. The Weather Prediction Center, they really start looking at areas that are really susceptible to that flash flooding, looking at the rain, looking at soil conditions and a moderate risk from the Mississippi coast back towards portions of the upper Texas coast. High risk, that's the highest risk that they can issue. Lake Charles, over to Beaumont, Orange, um, some of these areas could get significant amount of rain and a high risk of that flash flooding. So a dangerous situation. You're gonna see flooding over the next one to two days. Um, really gotta stay off the roads, listen to those local officials. So important uh, to be ready for this and have a plan when the weather forecast offices start putting those flash flood warnings out. So that's a big impact for us. One of the other impacts I did wanna cover is with time, we do have a marginal risk of severe weather, getting some potential for some tornadoes. You start seeing those rain bands. Remember that we, we saw that rain band coming off the center uh, when we were looking at the radar. So anywhere from Houston back over to, to Metro New Orleans today, you can see some possibility of getting those tornadoes. And here's the other part. It's not just one day. This goes into tomorrow as this storm slowly moves off to the east. You still have a tornado threat from the central portions of Louisiana, southeast Louisiana, even over uh, the Mississippi coast and even coastal Alabama as well. So severe weather, rain, and we also still have some of that, that elevated water. Still pretty dangerous out there with the water still high uh, with the storm surge that came in um, overnight. So significant amount of storm surge. San Luis Pass over to High Island, including Galveston Bay, three to five feet of storm surge. That's significant and life-threatening storm surge. So you got to be careful in these areas. Just you got to stay off the roads. Just too dangerous to be out there. Even High Island over to Rutherford Beach, portions of Louisiana, you get two to four feet of, of this storm surge. So torrential rainfall, tropical rain, life-threatening situation when it comes to this rainfall and flooding. Please have a plan. Please listen for those warnings. Please, please be ready for this. And most importantly, just stay off the roads. Turn around, don't drown. It's just way too dangerous to be uh, traveling. So this has been Ken Graham with the latest on Tropical Storm Nicholas. We were live right here in our operations area, Miami, Florida, at the National Hurricane Center.